Do you guys even remember me looking like that? No. I've always wanted to have a healthy lifestyle and I've struggled with my weight on and off since I was a small child. Yep, that was when we had lost the weight. Yep. As I got older, I realized how important your health really is. Yeah. I was put in contact with a health coach who championed behind me and I was able to lose 76 pounds over the course of five and a half months. And my kids got to see what healthy looked like. It was all of us on Christmas Eve. I'm a nurse. I work at a hospital in obstetrics. And in 2023, I was a part of a delivery experience of a baby named Claire. Hi, it's good to see you again. She's just a wee bit bigger. I caught a cardiac anomaly that was not foreseen by the family or by the medical professionals. That's the baby's heart right there. And she was flown to a hospital and received open heart surgery that morning. <laughs> Favorite nurse that we just met. Yeah. <laughs> that day, um, her parents and I talked a lot about our lives and shared some of the things we had to look forward to that year and the Broad Street Run was one of them. And that was something that was in my bucket list to do before I turned 40. I was committed to doing that for you too. I was slotted to run the brace with Claire's father, Ken, and um, was sidelined by a diagnosis of lymphoma. I was working hard. <laughs> the sad part for me was that I wasn't able to run that race. And Ken said to me, I'm gonna run the Broad Street race for my baby and for the nurse that saved her. You're both what pushed me to be able to finish that race strong. I'll always be thankful to you for doing that for me. I was able to impact and save a life and also feel like I was saved um, in the process by others. I'll say bye-bye, okay? She really is a gift. <laughs> I think you gave us the gift. And through all of that, I was training with Omar Cruikshank, who owns a jujitsu club in Flower Town. All right, one, two, three, duck. Yeah. He championed behind me from the beginning of my weight loss journey. There you go. And once I was diagnosed with cancer, Omar kept me going. One, two, three, duck. There were some hard days going through chemotherapy, and I still showed up because I wanted to make sure that health maintained being that priority. And keep going, just keep going after that. So I did six months of chemotherapy at the Aspen Center, and in November, I received a PET scan that shows that there's no evidence of disease. Yes. Yeah, good job. So after experiencing everything, I decided to become a certified health coach and I want to continue to pay it forward how important health is and I hope to continue to champion behind others that want to have that opportunity to have their best lives.